Well, summer officially starts in two days, but already tens of millions of Americans are facing extreme heat advisories with temperatures expected to hover around 90 degrees. CBS News's Naomi Ruckham has a look at how some cities are coping with those record temperatures. The dog days of summer are already here as a massive heat wave blankets parts of the country this week. I looked at the <laughs> forecast and I saw, all right, it's going to be toasty. In Chicago, kids and parents beat the heat at the splash pad. Find something you can do outside that keeps them cool, but lets them have fun. With record temps well above 90 in the Windy City this week, officials are checking in on its unhoused population and giving them information on where they can go to cool off. We bring water around. If they're not willing to go to the shelter, then we take them to warming, uh, cooling centers. Further north in Detroit, people sunbathing on the beach were split over the scorching temps. It is almost unbearable. I'm enjoying it. I like the heat. Still, health experts warn that the heat can be dangerous, especially for vulnerable populations, such as the elderly, the unhoused, pregnant people and children. Schools in central Massachusetts abruptly ended the school year early because of the temps, while Boston is taking it day by day. There are about 10 schools that don't have air conditioning in the building. In parts of New York, some schools have moved to half days. It's not fair to the kids or staff to be in there when it's this hot. With hurricane season also underway, parts of Texas are now preparing for a potential tropical storm system this week. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. The Center for Biological Diversity and other groups have sent a petition to FEMA asking the agency to include extreme heat and wildfire smoke as major disasters. And ComEd has some tips to keep both your house temperature and your electric bill low. So they say to adjust your ceiling fans counterclockwise to direct cool air toward the ground and then turn it off when you leave the room. Make sure you have a fresh air filter, keep your curtains or blinds closed to prevent heat from getting in, and operate your thermostat efficiently, like turning it up 7 to 10 degrees if you're gone for a long period of time.